So if somebody's going to overpay for for block space for your meme coin or whatever, yeah, that that will clear itself out. That's just a market facing function that's going to clear itself out. But over time, uh, there is going to be more stuff competing. And as long as they obey the consensus rules for a, a, a Bitcoin, then that's that's a good thing. And what ends up happening is um, and those things that are more valuable will compete out all of this nonsense that people think is valuable. Do you have to go through yeah. these waves? Of course you do, because that's how any market re reacts. Mm -hmm. Do you try to con change the consensus rules because of that? No, you don't. What ends up happening is it pushes more uh, more to develop lightning and make sure lightning is is it, it works yeah. re uh, really well. And that innovation takes care of that on top of Bitcoin. And then it expands things like Fediment and, 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 and others. And you have this layered approach where depending on what you want to move, how you want to move it, if I'm going to move a, a billion dollars um, um, to another country, yeah. um, then then I don't mind paying $35. Right, like, exactly. Not, like it's nonsense it's, <laughs> it, to, to even think that that's a, uh, that, that's the a word. Um, but if I'm going, I'm not going to do all my transactions at thirty-five dollars a transaction. That would be equally nonsense, right? Um, so, so, so this is just how a layered approach in technology typically works, and and we're, we're and people are people are so caught up in a moment of what this looks like, and then and then some of the things. Oh, I'm going to change the rules. We need to stop this. Um, the rules are the rules, and the, and yeah. if people can abuse them, the market a market will abuse them, and then those people are going to get liquidated because it never made sense in the first place, or they're going to pay a whole bunch of miners extra fees that's going to decentralize and secure the network even more. So this just it'll clear. It's just part of the yeah. ecosystem building, and it expands the network. Well, it'll clear, but it might. We might have a high, you know a higher floor for fees, <laughs> and then that that floor creeps up over time. Yeah, but but again, we, when we, when you think about what that floor is, even in the in the highest or what, it, if it's twenty, thirty five dollars, seventy dollars yeah. to move that type of transaction, mm -hmm. that, that I would determine in a free market that makes sense to move that, then that'll make sense, and then another, I I, I moved a dollar to my wife on Lightning last night, and it was seven sets, right? right. Didn't yeah, change. I, the, the, so so I can move, I can move a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, ten thousand dollars on the same thing, um, and it's. Uh, I just many people don't know yet. They were using the main chain because they didn't really. They weren't. Didn't need to use lightning. Yeah, the they did People, yeah. people building to lightning were expecting low fees forever, so they hadn't built the redundancy and what that fee market would look like. And so that, in the immediate short term, it breaks things. And then all of those entrepreneurs building the the the, the other technology go whoa okay here's how we're gonna here's how we're gonna do this so it doesn't break things. Yeah, well, there's also that model that uh, Jesse Myers or Croesus uh, had a couple of years ago, which I liked, which was like the container ship. Like you have to remember, like each of these Bitcoin transactions is gonna potentially be a container ship that has like tons of other kinds of economic activity in it, um, and and that will provide pressure on yeah. block space but yeah. in any event for the purposes of our conversation the reason i i think is relevant to discuss this is because um these people do finally have an escape from structural adjustment and from this like never-ending debt trap they can get out of it uh, over time they and their families and communities and businesses through bitcoin it's it's not a uh like yes it, it can help immediately in the sense of like opening up financial possibilities and moving money um, but as far as wealth building and purchasing power appreciation, that's a, that's going to take, yeah. we're talking about years and decades, but it is going to happen. It's a trend. We're moving in that direction. So the question is, like, how accessible can we make this thing? Uh, and, and, you know, uh, I still think that this is going to chill out a little bit, and we're still going to be for several years now in a world where it's totally reasonable for people to use on-chain that people should learn how to do this to self-custody. There is no second best. And then what's going to start to happen is you're going to start to realize that's going to be priced out for most people for most things. And then we're going to they're going to have options. Some of them are going to prefer a community bank like a federated mint. Some of them are going to prefer lightning. Some of them are going to prefer a side chain. Some of them are going to prefer 
a Bitcoin bank like Hal Finney described, where essentially it's just a neo bank. I mean, there's going to be a lot of different things that people would prefer. Um, but the key is like for us, I think, as educators is to help people self custody on chain for as long as it's uh, economically feasible. It's so, so important. And then that then everything else goes from there. Like, I really, really don't think we're going to see $35 fees all year here. Like, I think it's going to subside, and yeah. then we're going to have another time when, when we can continue to, like, build and promote. Like, it is, on the one hand, like, it's we're, it's expected. Like, we, should, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be complaining because we, we know better. Like, this is going to happen. But on the other hand, it does make it tough for people like our friend Anita, who's educating people in, in Zimbabwe. Like, it's what does she do? It's hard for her right now, okay? So, like, sending a transaction is prohibitive basically on the main chain and opening a lightning channel if you don't have it already is prohibitive so it forces people into custodial solutions it is a big uh, let's say adoption dilemma so the the better tools we have like that can help people address this uh, i sure. think that's absolutely worth investing our time and energy right now in